And welcome to the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We're here to speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. And as always, we're coming to you from the spiritual and soon-to-be financial capital of the world, Jerusalem, Israel. We've got a great show coming up for you. But first, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman, aaronkatzman.com. Feel free to uh, find me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter and brand new. Da, 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 da. Feel free to subscribe to my brand new YouTube channel where you get all the content in one platform. So we're going to do a little something a little bit different today, right? We're going to move away a little bit from the investing. And we're going to continue a theme, actually, we started a few weeks ago, and that's discussing philanthropy, charity. And it's my honor to introduce Dr. Jonathan Donoff, who is the director of dailygiving.org, which he co-founded in 2019. He's also runs and owns the Westchester Spinal Decompression Center in White Plains, New York, where he does, I believe, pain solutions and back solutions so we might even get into a little bit of that because my back hurts a little bit but no uh ladies and gentlemen it's my honor to uh introduce dr donan thank you for having me my pleasure so i got to you it's pretty funny i was on a conference call on a board that i'm on a, a chair to a charity board and we spoke with one of your partners and then that led me to you and what you're doing is sort of fascinating so can you tell us a little bit about daily giving and how you got into this in the first place? Sure. And I, I think it's funny that you said uh, getting away from investments because in some ways I think this is, this kind of fits into investments. Um, Dailygiving.org started uh, one, one night I was at uh, my local Mar of Minion and uh, I put a dollar in the sucker box and I, um, I can't always go to Minion for various reasons. And um, I had an epiphany that no matter how much tzedakah I give, I still get a mitzvah every time I put a dollar in the tzedakah box. So I thought to myself, how can I automate this uh, process? So every day, no matter what, I guarantee myself the mitzvah of tzedakah for a dollar. That was how, uh, that's how it started. And so I went home and I Googled it and I didn't find anybody doing this. So I called up my friend, Rabbi Rami Strasberg and a couple of my other friends who, uh, Shaul Khan, who does my websites and, um, and uh, said, is this possible? Can we do this? What do you guys think of the idea? And everyone liked it. We started meeting at the home of uh, Rami Strauss, Rami and Deb Strasberg, and uh, Daily Giving was born. And the idea is to automate a platform so that everyone, every Jew can give $1 a day, no matter what. You wake up every morning, it's already one nothing you. And uh, we take everyone's dollars to, together collectively, and we donate to a different amazing Jewish nonprofit all over the world each day. And how much have you, sort of, how much have you already distributed? We've distributed over uh, $500,000 already, but we've raised total based on what we've distributed and what we're going to be giving over the next 365 days, over $1.6 million. Wow, that's unbelievable. And it's just a dollar a day. Just a dollar a day. Some people give more, but I'd say 90% of our givers give a dollar a day. And, and how do you determine uh, what charities sort of make it on your platform? Um, so we have a board and we have had uh, over 250 organizations come to us asking for our free money. Um, that, that is a challenge. Um, so we are very careful not to add too many too quick because we don't want to dilute how much we're giving to each charity. So um, we really only added a, a couple each year. So we uh, start with 36, six months in, we added six more, went to 42. And then uh, we added a couple, we took off a couple um, this year. So we're, at, we're still at 42. So we're, we're giving each charity almost $30,000 a year um, so far. And how does it and work? And it just let's, grows every day. So let's say, how does this work? We're, you know, uh, let's pick a random date of November the 23rd, right? So it's November the 23rd and you have your pot of money, I guess, from everybody who's donated a dollar a day. And then what? It, each, each organization gets their day and that's what you distribute. How, how, does it, how exactly does that work? Okay, so, so first of all, our, uh, what I think a lot of people like about Daily Giving is our transparency. So if you go to the website dailygiving.org and you click on calendar, you can actually literally check every single day since we started January 1st, 2019 and see who got the money every single day. Um, and so it's on a 42-day rotation. So every day we give to a different charity. So um, yesterday we gave to OHEL, 
which is a special needs organization, the day before we gave to NCSY. Um, so every day it's a different organization and it's just on a 42 day round robin. So every 40 days it repeats again. And let me ask you a question. It sounds like something that it doesn't have to be just within uh, the Jewish world, right? This is something that you can sort of build out a platform. It can be internationally, it can be, uh, you know, multi-denominational, the whole deal, correct? It could be, it could be. We decided to focus uh, all the volunteers. We're a, a strictly volunteer run organization. 100% of the charity goes to, 100% of the money donated goes to charity. So um, it's a lot of extra work and um, a lot of time. And so we decided uh, to just go strictly to Jewish organizations for now. Um, yeah, in theory, it could be opened up to more, but our specific platform is just the Jewish charities. Um, and you'll recognize, uh, your listeners, I'm sure will recognize 95% of them. Half of them are in America, half are in Israel. We give to uh, uh, Shalva and Ale and Leket and Yad Eliezer and Pantry Packers and uh, United Hatzala, Magin David Adom. Um, that's just the ones I can think of on top of my head that are in Israel. Um, we get to, in America, we get to Camp Hask and High Lifeline and, and, uh, and just, uh, just one amazing organization after the other. And even the ones people haven't heard of, they're going to read about them and they go, oh my God, this is amazing. How come I never heard of them? So um, every day we send an email out to all our givers saying where their money went that day. It's a little blurb about the charity um, and, and telling them how much collectively we're giving. And um, one thing that we're very proud of is that, we, and I, you know, like before this, I wasn't in the nonprofit world, but we've been told that when a nonprofit sends out an email, let's say a quarterly email, if 20% of the, uh, if they're open rate, right, that means if, if 20% of people open that email, that's considered pretty good. Uh, we send out a daily email telling everyone where the money is going, and it gets opened average of 57% wow. every day. <laughs> so people are very engaged, and our givers love it. We get constant thank you emails back and forth, how much people like being a part of it. Um, and uh, we have over 3,000 givers already, and I encourage your listeners to just go to dailygiving.org and hit the join us button, take 30 seconds, and boom, for a dollar a day, you get a miss every single day. It can't be any easier than that. So let's repeat, how do people get in touch with you? And then how can they get their organization, be a contributor to daily giving or be on the other side, be a recipient or an organization? What are, what are those processes? Okay, so to, uh, to, to just give, like I said, you just go on and sign up, dailygiving.org. You can also hit the, uh, the, the contact us button. You can write emails to us. And uh, we try to be as, as good as we can getting back to people as soon as possible. We are not looking, we are not actively looking for any new organizations. We have so many more than we can possibly put on right now that we're currently vetting and figuring out who's going to be the next, uh, the next organizations to add. So, um, you know, we are, we are very careful. We have, uh, since you're an investment uh, show, I would say that we have a diversified portfolio of, of different charities we give to. And that's people like it. They call it, uh, we've had testimonials. People say, this is amazing. It's like the ETF or mutual fund of Sadaka. You know, we, we give to uh, organizations that have to do with infertility and emergencies and, and poverty and special needs and cancer and, and Torah learning and Kiruv. It's just a really nice um, wide net of different, um, different categories. And so for a dollar, you can impact millions of people. That's incredible. It's the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We speak to you about your money, your life, and your investments. And as always, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron, at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatsman. You can find me on Twitter, and you can subscribe to the brand new YouTube channel. We're speaking with Dr. Jonathan Donath of dailygiving.org, which is a phenomenal organization, which for a dollar a day, you can really change the world. I remember growing up, there was uh, Sally Struthers, right? You could feed a kid for like a dime a day and you're actually doing it. And you've got, like you said, this diversified portfolio of uh, charity organizations. It's really, uh, it's incredible. Um, I guess you also have to then continue on. Like once you decide who's going to make it on your platform, you have to do some kind of continuing due diligence as well, just to make sure that they, they keep up with, you know, whatever uh, criteria you set forth. Yeah. So um, again, so we, we choose the charities, the board chooses them. We have a rabbinical council. The rabbinical council has approved all the charities uh, on the, on the website. 
And uh, yeah, we, we, at least once a year, we go through all the charities to decide, uh, like we did take five charities off and there's nothing they did wrong. Um, but we are very careful of who we choose and, um, and, uh, and they're vetted. And then, and then even just cause you're on doesn't mean you can't be taken off because uh, things happen and for various reasons. But um, we've been told by many people that it's like, we're their charity navigator. They go to daily giving, decide, um, you know, who they think is worthy of, go, uh, of giving their charity to. And so we've heard many, many times that people now only give charity to people on daily giving. So like they, they give a dollar a day through dailygiving.org, but they learn about these different charities and then they decide, oh, I want to give a bigger check to Camp Ask. I want to give a bigger check to Pantry Packers um, and other, other charities that we introduce them to. Let me ask you a question for people in Israel. Do you, is it multi-currency or is, this is, you, you know, you, you put in your, your American credit card and, and it gets debited that way? Um, we use Stripe and uh, it works with any credit card. We literally have people in uh, giving in, I'd say, 50 countries around the world. Wow. Um, so it works from everywhere. Uh, it automatically converts your currency to American dollars uh, to be the one dollar. So in some some countries where their their currency is worth more than a dollar, they're giving less than the one unit of dollar. And in Israel, it's a check. You know, it's going to be more. It's going to be whatever. I don't know what the currency is. It's three point eight, mm -hmm. whatever four shekel it is to the dollar. Um, but yeah, we could take anyone. Um, and it's really fun when people sign up from New Zealand and Australia and Rome and Italy and Belgium and and all over the place. It's uh, it's really really great to see it growing. And, 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 you know, we, we have a 501c3 designation in America, so it's a tax deduction. We're working really hard to get um, that, that same, you know, to Amutah status in Israel. But it's actually, as you probably know, it's very complicated and it's a long process. And um, the hope is to one day get it. It's a little difficult. You know, every Israeli charity we give to has an American Friends of, you know, Magin David Adom. Every, every one of them has that. So it's kind of we're technically giving to all 42 American charities. It makes it, it, that's part of the complexity of getting that status in Israel, but we are trying very hard to do that. Okay. We have about 10% of our givers are, are in Israel. Wow. And how has, I mean, this question you probably hear, obviously the need is obviously great. So there are probably more people coming to you to try and get on your platform to receive, but how has COVID impacted sort of the world of giving? I think it's really, really impacted the world of giving a tremendous amount. Um, I know that the I'm in touch with these 42 organizations and, and, and almost every one of them is hurting tremendously. I mean, they've had to lay people off. Um, some of them, like here's some examples of in Israel, Mayor Panim and Miguel Orr and Leket um, and Pantry Packers, they're, they're really stressed out, meaning that even they were already giving X amount of dollar, X amount of you know, food, to, to the needy, um, the, the needy may have tripled in the last couple of months, yet their donors are making less money or have more financial uncertainty. So um, they literally, some of them are taxed triple. I know that Leket um, has had to do, you know, had to shut down a lot of their different things, yet there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people relying on the meals that they provided. So they literally were raised something, I don't, I don't know if the number's correct, it's probably like $7 million they had to raise in order to to provide these hot meals that they had to order. So then they were putting some of these Israeli caterers that were out of work into um, putting them to work um, to provide hot meals to thousands and thousands of Israelis. So again, the, the organizations are very heavily taxed. They're not getting as much money from their donors. So it's a very precarious situation. On the daily giving side, we've been fortunate that I think that because in the whole world, there was no minyanim for a while. And people, um, you know, a lot of people do give charity every day, they put a shekel, they put a dollar in the tzedakah box and they weren't going to the minion. I think that daily giving all of a sudden some, some very famous rabbis got on board and thought what we were doing was amazing. And they started pushing it and talking about it. And so uh, in the last several months, we've actually tripled. Um, uh -huh. So, so people have really, it's really resonated that, you know, there are some people going back to minion, but um, hopefully there won't be, um, you know, a second major wave. There's already obviously been a, a you know, somewhat a second wave in Israel and um, we're certainly not out of the first wave in America, but there are lots of people who don't feel comfortable going to shul. They're immunocompromised or they're older and they're not going to Minion, women who aren't going to Minion. So we feel that even like we started daily giving before COVID happened um, and people love being a part of it. And this is not instead of your big donations, right? If you're giving thousands of dollars to something else, we're not asking you to give daily giving more or a huge chunk. We're saying if everyone, if every Jew comes together and gives a dollar a day, 
uh, even if 1%, if 1% of all Jews gave $1 a day, we'd be giving out over $53 million a year. Wow. And that's the significance of crowdfunding and what we're trying to do. And so I urge people just to, people think, oh, it's oh, such a good idea, but then they forget to sign up. So take 30 seconds right now, hit the join us button on dailygiving.org. You will not regret it. I mean, literally, I can't tell you, we have like 95% retention rate. People give month after month after month. Um, oh, one more thing, just to, to, to lack, you know, to, to take care of any confusion. We can't hit your credit card every day because the transaction fee would be too high. Uh-huh. It'd be 30 cents per transaction. So what the, uh, the, the different Rabbanim had, had advised us is that um, if you give, we have two options. You can give once a month or once a year. And we're your shaliach. We give every single day for you. Uh, and that qualifies for your tzedakah. And, um, and that's how we do it. So uh, it's, it, we're not going to, you're not going to hit your, look at your credit card statement and go every day, daily giving, daily giving, daily giving, and it annoys you. And it's just one simple transaction a month or one simple transaction a year. And you're covered for the whole year. Even uh, people are like, well, I do give a dollar every day. Well, but on, on Shabbat, you're not carrying your wallet. Most of Shabbat, you don't have your wallet on you. We, we, we take care of everything. Even if it's a three day Yom Tov, which, you know, you're not so familiar with in Israel, we give afterwards or before we give uh, for all the different days. You are covered 365 days a year. You know, in this world of, uh, let's say, polarization, where uh, people coming together is something that seems to be a thing of the past, whether it's, in, you know, here in Israel right now, in America, there's a lot of uh, butting of the heads. It's really nice that there's an organization like you that's trying to do the opposite and bring people together. And, uh, well, kudos to you. Phenomenal stuff. Thank you so much. And once again, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, they can get in touch through the website, dailygiving.org, and hit the contact us bu- button. Uh, myself and uh, a couple other people will get those emails. They can also email me directly if they want to at drjdonath at gmail.com, D-R-J-D-O-N-A-T-H at gmail.com. And feel free to discuss anything. Dr. Donath, thanks so much. And uh, continued doing great work, saving the world with a dollar at a time. Thank you so much. Really appreciate having you, on, you having me on. It's been the Aaron Katzman Show. I'm your host, Aaron Katzman. We speak to you about your life, your money, and your investments. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at Lighthouse with an L, lighthousecapital.co.il. That's Aaron at lighthousecapital.co.il. You can check me out on the web at www.aaronkatzman.com. That's www.aaronkatzman, aaronkatzman.com. Feel free to find me on Twitter, And be sure to subscribe to the brand new YouTube channel. We're going to have interviews like this, podcasts, everything that we do, all the content that we have is coming out on YouTube. It's been a pleasure, and we'll speak to you really, really soon.